morning everyone i'm dylan hayes and i'm going to be answering a few questions for you guys this morning so let's get started on that <laughs> i'm loki shy i like have my shirt off i just ugh, but okay um the first one is why did i decide to do porn um it's always so hard for me to answer this i feel like i didn't really like i thought about it a few times and i told myself no i'm not gonna do it and then I just ended up kind of doing it and it like worked out, I guess, honestly. And then, yeah, not much too behind that though. Wait, I don't think that made sense. Ugh. Jesus. Um, am I attracted to women too? Um, I am attracted to women. I think I'm a little more attracted to like men, obviously. And I dated women when I was kind of first growing up. Um... So I guess that would just depend on the person. I feel like I could potentially be with a girl, but I prefer guys. So however, that's gonna work out. <laughs> um, so yes, I'm attracted to women, but more to guys. Um, am I also dating and is it more difficult because of stigma? Um, I am dating. I'm interested in dating. Dating is more stressful than I originally thought <laughs> um just finding that out but like mature dating is hard once you like really get to a point where you're like actually dating people it like becomes stressful it really is like a process and like just a way to do things it's it's really weird I don't know that's a topic for another day <laughs> um oh is it more difficult because of stigma um, I used to think so when I first lived in LA because I always used to be like, this is the worst place to date, like just blame it on the people and whatnot. But I kind of found like if you just focus like who you're surrounding yourself with, I guess, and like put that intention out there, like just you want to be surrounded by better people, different people, you know what I mean? Like, I think once you pull out from that, it'll just happen. Like you don't have to do all the BS that people go through I won't go through that I'm not doing it like you either like me or you don't like me you're gonna marry me or you're gonna marry me you know what I'm saying like <laughs> make up your mind um what do I like most about my job um I would probably say getting around getting to be around all the models I feel like that's always that's the fun part of it all and the sex of course but um, it's cool. I kind of get along with everyone. Uh, kind of, I guess I do, but, um, yeah, I mostly get along with everyone. I really feel like it's just a good time. And I feel like if you get along with the people you work with, it makes the job way easier. So that's always kind of been my plan and my goal starting was just to really focus on the way I'm treating people and just being myself. And cause I know I'm being like watched now by like some people. So I just want to, you know, be my best self and own it. <laughs> that answers the question um what do you do to work out um so obviously I am not ripped I have abs sometimes <laughs> not all the time but um I mostly do cardio I would say and every morning I wake up I go to the beach and I run there's like stairs because I live right by the beach and they have like this like workout thing and there's like huge stairs it's so nice and you like walk down and it's just the sand and the water it's so nice but i do that every morning and the next question is can you describe your diet um actually lately i've been trying to eat only vegetables and like fruits and stuff um i do go out like if i eat bad it's because i'm eating at a restaurant or like eating fast food but i've been trying to cut back on that <laughs> um so yeah, but mostly just been eating, like, trying to eat vegan, but I mean, I like meat too and stuff, so I'm just kind of like, ugh, torn. Sometimes, sometimes I mess up, sometimes I don't. <laughs> Aren't we all human? Uh, the next question is, let's see if I can find this question. Um, what part of my body do I find most appealing? Um, well, I would like to say my eyes and, like, for being sweet I guess if you're thinking when your mind's in the gutter probably my ass 
would be the most appealing. But I think eyes are my most appealing just because, I don't know. When I meet people or anyone in general, I love talking. Like I have like talk to you and I just love like locking eyes. I feel like if you can see in someone's eyes and to see them, you know, like that's so cool. But yeah. And the next question is, what is my favorite position? Uh, that depends on the person, but definitely missionary or doggy. Depends on the person. <laughs> missionary is like, those are one of those positions that's like romantic. You're all up in someone's face, you know, like you have to like them a little bit to be doing all that. <laughs> so think about that one. Um, do I have a favorite type of guy to partner with for a scene? Hmm. I'm really, I try not to be too picky, but if I were to choose, it would be someone like, for looks, it'd probably be like someone more jock kind of, or just like big. I love tall guys. Anyone over six foot, right swipe on Tinder. <laughs> um, and I love guys too, not on looks, but guys that are like, I guess, they kind of take sex like in a mature way. Like working with someone, you'll know, like you have seen partners and whatnot. And I really appreciate when they're like just mature about it and like comforting in a way. I know you wouldn't be doing all that in like before sex, but I'm saying just someone that's like aware and someone that's respectful of you and like knows you guys are gonna be having sex and whatnot. So someone that's just mature and like knowledgeable about sex in general, it's always nice to work with someone like that. And the last question is, do I have any hidden talents or hobbies? Um, hidden talents, I don't, can't, I don't know. I'm trying to think. I can tell you guys a secret, <laughs> but I want, I don't know if it's like a s hidden talent. How about we do, I'll tell you one thing that not a lot of people know. And so I'll tell you my hobbies first. So my hobbies, I would probably say like ATV. So like quads, I love riding quads. Um. I used to race actually. Um, I love going to the beach, working out, music, movies, and it's super basic. I really, that's all I do. Like that stuff makes me so happy. Like I really love watching movies and what else? <laughs> hmm. Anything outdoorsy, like, you know, like just what gives you like a real feeling, anything like that. I'm like, that's a hobby. That's a hobby. Like, <laughs> um, Let's see. Oh, I like gymnastics, cheerleading. Why am I like forgetting all this stuff? Sports, that's hobbies. Oh, my stomach. Oh, something to see. Yeah, I have to flex. Okay. Let's see. I want to tell you guys a secret. Oh, because I don't have a hidden talent. I don't think. Maybe I do have like a hidden talent I didn't know about, but. Um, let me think. So, okay, I'll let you guys in on a little secret. Not a lot of people know this, but. Um, I was diagnosed with Tourette's syndrome when I was, I think about five or six. And I've actually had Tourette's like, so my whole life, I pretty much until then. Um, I still currently have it, but it's very mild now compared to what it used to be. I used to do like, I would never have like too bad of tics, but they're called tics. It's like Crazy, yeah. Um, I actually wanna make a video on this soon because it's something that I do have and I guess I do live with it, but I don't talk about it, I guess. I'm not embarrassed, but I don't know. I really do wanna talk about it more and I feel like it just like, it's me, you know, and it has a lot to do with my life, so. Um, but I currently just make like a little noise and that looks crazy again. Um, it's just like a vocal noise, I guess. So you wouldn't really hear it, but it's kind of just like, like just like a little noise, I don't know. Uh, Tourette's is like, I guess I could explain more on this. Tourette's is, if you look it up, it's just people that have physical tics and like vocal tics and like that type of stuff. It depends on the person and what they have and like their condition. Mine just isn't that bad. But when I was a kid, it actually really was bad. I had like a hard time in school with it and stuff. And now I think that it's really just toned down and also, 
having Tourette's is like a mind thing. Like if even till this day, like if I get nervous or if I get like tired during the nighttime, like I notice it'll like do it. And then sometimes I just don't do it anymore. So that's cool. But I don't know. I kind of embrace having it now because I really feel like it just makes me unique and like people just don't know like stuff I don't know you know like people just don't know that stuff about you sometimes and it's like you know what like I want people to know I have this like because I want people that have that like I feel like when I had it I didn't know anyone that did and I didn't have anyone like besides my family to tell me like oh this is okay like you know and it was just so hard so it's like I really would love to be able to help people that do have Tourette's or do that in the near future like I'm so interested in like the organizations and like that type of stuff. Now I'm like hella thinking about it, but um, I don't want to give you guys too much information on that, but that is something I'm going to make a personal video on and I really want to like talk about that topic. So I will do that and I will put on my Twitter when that's coming out and I think I'll post this video too. I guess we'll find out. Um, but thank you guys for watching and I will post something very 